Here we go. Yay!
Here we go. 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 Tell me, Professor Pierce, how does it feel now? It feels a little bit unreal. Uh, so about uh, half an hour ago, the balloon was released, and now we're about 12,000 meters above the Earth's surface. And uh, well, this is what we've been waiting for for the last seven years. So I say it feels quite unreal, but we're starting to turn on the instrument. Things are working, so fingers crossed. It'll be OK. So what will uh, happen from now? So now we're um, focusing on checking that the instrument's working. So we're passing right now through the coldest part of the atmosphere, and uh, we have to be careful that the instrument doesn't get too cold. We'll then leave the coldest part and start to rise up towards 40 kilometers, and then we'll start to uh, check that we can orientate the gondola towards the object, the first object we want to look at, which is the Crab uh, Nebula and the Crab Pulsar. So why are you doing these uh, measurements? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Uh, we're trying to learn more about the most uh, energetic, some of the most energetic objects in our universe, uh, pulsars, uh, neutron stars, and so on. And, uh, we do this by lifting up this X-ray telescope above the Earth's atmosphere, so we can look at the X-rays without the atmosphere absorbing the X-rays. Is it important stuff? I think so. I think it's important. It's uh, basic research. We learn more about the universe in which we live, and who knows, we'll probably learn more about physics which we can't possibly study on, on the Earth. We, we can't make these type of industry physical conditions in laboratories on, on, on the Earth. Four thousand two hundred meters. It's going up. Yep. Yeah. Everything's on. No. Not yet. Five thousand meters. That, <laughs> that, that, that channel isn't used, so you don't have to really worry about turning it off. Oh, no, it should be, it must be, or something. Mm -hmm. 